Hi everybody, I am Dipanshu Singh and in today's video, we are going to perform an activity which is related to physics. This activity proves that pressure is inversely proportional to area. So make sure that you watch this video till end. So now let's begin with our activity. For this, you will simply need two balloons and these types of softboard pins. So this activity will be divided in two parts that is no, there will be two cases case 1 and case 2 so now let's start with our case 1 now in this case 1 I am taking here one balloon and for this balloon we are going to keep only one single pin on our table now this single uh, pin would prove out to be a very small area for the balloon now what we need to do just uh, take the balloon and press it over this pin now here the area of contact between the balloon and the pin will be very small. So let's see what happens. Now I am going to put this balloon on this pin. So what we saw here that the balloon bursted within a second only. This was due to the very small area of this pin. the case second here I am again having a balloon with me but this time we are going to increase the number of pins we are going to keep hundreds of pin on this table instead of a single pin so now let's put them all so here I have arranged all the pins on the board now what we need to do just take the balloon and put it over this pins and press it. So here you will observe that the area of contact between the balloon and the pins will be much larger. So now let's see what is happening in this case. So taking the balloon and pressing it over these pins. So you can see that I am applying the similar pressure as in the second case but the balloon is not bursting here due to the larger area of the pins. So today we have proved that pressure is inversely proportional to area. As we saw in the first case the area was kept small Hence, the pressure on the balloon increased, which resulted in bursting of the balloon. But in the second case, the area was kept larger with hundreds of pins there. Hence, the pressure on the balloon was reduced and equally distributed over the balloon. Hence, the balloon was not bursted in the second case. So as we have done with our activity, now I am going to tell you some basic daily life examples of this property that we have seen in this video. So the first example of this property we see in our day to day life is of an iron nail. Yes, this iron nail have a pointed end towards one side and a blunt end towards the other. Do you know the reason of this pointed end? This pointed end is given so that the nail can easily pass through the wall. Here the area is kept small so that the pressure we will apply will automatically increase. Hence we can pierce this wall, uh, nail into the wall easily. Due to less area the pressure will increase. And the second example in our life is of a pencil. Yes, your pencil is having a pointed sharp end at one side so that you can make a fine and a tight grip on your notebook for easy writing. And not only these two things are there which are following this principle to work. You will find many many things around you which are following the relation between pressure and area to function. The thing is that you just need to identify and recognize the signs behind it. So now it's all your turn to identify and observe different objects around you which are following the relation between pressure and area. And do let me know your answers in the comments below. I will be definitely checking that. So that's all for today. Make sure you hit the like button, share this video and also subscribe to the channel for the latest notifications.